Hey friends and welcome back. So I have two separate transactions to share with you. Doing the buy three, get 6,000 points deal. But before we get into this, just a quick FYI. I posted over on Instagram as well as on the community tab here yesterday evening that we have an issue going on with the paper spin perk. For whatever reason, this perk was not scanning for me yesterday. I tried it several different ways and it would not scan. The error message that it gave was coupon was invalid. Not quite sure what's going on. My best guess is the system is having issues. So proceed with caution if you do have a paper spin perk that you're trying to utilize. And then also report in the comments your experience if you do try to use a paper spin perk. All right, so I'm going to share the transactions that I did and I'll also give you a few other scenarios that you can do to take advantage of this deal. So first transaction, I one picked of the tides priced at $11.99 and I paired it with two of the always pads. I picked up one of the teen pads priced at $8.79 regular price, but they are buy one get one half off and I paired it with the Always Infinity, and these are $8.99. So I'll get half off of this one being the lesser value. So this one here was $4.39. Then I also picked up two of the notebooks as my filler item in order to roll into register rewards. So let's look at the receipt. You see the Always Infinity, $8.99, the Teen Pads, $4.39, the Tide, $11.99, both of my notebooks, and you see the coupons applied how they apply. With the PNG coupons, they just attach to any PNG products. It's a whole situation. Nonetheless, the math is still correct, so I don't worry about it. So the $3 is actually for the tie, and then $2 on the pads. I use two $5 register rewards, which attach to the notebooks. So subtotal $9.35. With tax 10 12 I used 10,000 in points, paying 12 cent cash out of pocket, and we got back 6,000 points for buying three. This is a buy deal, so you can use points to pay, and you will get the points back. You can even buy six participating products in a single transaction, and you will get 12,000 points back if you do. Now, on this transaction here, I did have a digital coupon that should not have applied. However, when it comes to Walgreens and those P&G coupons, those coupons just do whatever they want. Nonetheless, the numbers, my math was still the same, so I didn't have to board the transaction or anything. It's just a matter of the digital coupon kicked out my register reward. So what I picked up was the Charmin at $9.98. I picked up two of the teen pads, and then I also had two Arizona iced teas as my filler items in order to roll in register rewards. So let's look at the receipt. So everything rung up correctly. I used two paper coupons for the pads. I had a $4 register reward, a $5 register reward, and a $3 register reward. Well, as you can see, my $4 register reward was kicked out by the four of two digital coupons for the pads. So whatever. The number still came out the same, so I'm good with that. I just took back my $4 register reward. So $10.17 with tax, $11.01. I used 10,000 in points, paid the dollar on one out of pocket, and got back 6,000 in points. And I'm good with that. I'm gonna just say that I'm paying for my teas only and everything else was free, which as a cash-based couponer, my teas were free as well as I'm investing a dollar and one cent, and the store gave me back 6,000 points, plus all these lovely products. So yeah, that $4 digital coupon is a $4 off two for the always pads. It should not have come off, but as you see, it did. It is Walgreens, so yeah. Anyways, guys, again, I will have a few other transaction scenarios for this particular um, deal this week at the end of the video. If you have any questions about anything I discuss, leave it in the comments for me. I don't mind answering. Be sure that you are actually subscribed to the channel and have your notifications turned on. As always, thanks so very much for watching. And until next time, guys, happy couponing.